All right, so I didn't record after I left the dentist, the orthodontist, because it was raining, it was cold, and I was just really tired and had to get a lot of errands done. And because, as you can see and hear, I'm not talking the same because he gave me these again to close this gap that's right here. And he told me that he's scheduling me to come back in three weeks. And in three weeks, if the gap is closed, we can schedule to take them off. So even though I'm hurrying right now, I'm tired. Usually I go to sleep anyways after I get them done. Like I'll eat ice cream or if they're not hurting just yet, I try to get some food in. So I can have some in my stomach before the pain kick in and then, you know, my only option is ice cream or whatever. But um, I'm really, and it doesn't show right now, but I'm really excited because I'm just ready to get them off. Um, so prayerfully they'll be closed in three weeks. It'll be closed in three weeks. It was actually closed before, but I think when he was trying to get the rest of the teeth to shift, he had to change some things on change some things on this side. So when he did that, it kind of opened the gap back up a little bit. Um, and so yeah, I just don't really feel like I'll probably record when I'm feeling better or when I'm able to talk better because it's been some months since I had the rubber bands. And as you can hear and see again, I have to keep stopping because it's like my mouth is, it just feels like I have like a lot of spit. Sounds gross, but it does. And um, so I have to keep stopping so I'm not like, you know, getting it everywhere or whatever. Maybe it's just the idea of it or how it feels. But, and then also with the rubber bands, it only allows me to open my mouth so far um, before they pop. Or fly out, and I had to happen. I had one fly out before. I was actually at a birthday dinner, and luckily they didn't get on anybody with their food. It like stayed in my area, but it was like that was embarrassing. It was funny, but it was embarrassing. Um, but I think it was more so funny because the people I was with, I knew, so it wasn't like um, this one's kind of crazy. It wasn't like uh, you know, it, I guess it would have been different if I didn't really know the, the people, but um. And I had them pop. They used to pop all the time when I be in, when I would be in dance class. And I choked on a rubber band like once or twice because it like it'll pop. But depending on how it pops or whatever, it's like in the back of my throat. And if I'm talking, because I would be talking, and it'll just go back there. And I'm just like, and my friends are like, are you okay? And I'm just like, my rubber band pops. So I just don't want to do too much talking. And um, I haven't eaten yet. It's like 1.30. My appointment was at 9.30 this morning. I was there for like an hour, but I had to run some errands and then I had to um, get something from the grocery store uh, before I came home. So that's why it's kind of late. Um, so I think I'm just gonna, like I said, put something on my stomach, go to sleep and see how I feel later. If I don't come back on later, then maybe, I don't know, probably not tomorrow. Just because I don't think I'm going to feel like it. It might be next week. So the, the videos, I mean, you guys don't know when I record them anyway. So they're usually on my days off, but this time it's going to be, it's, you know, from the same. It's going to be like two weeks mixed in together. So, um, and when I come back, most likely my energy will be up. And then I can give you guys an update on how I feel and all that other good stuff. So I will see you guys in the next clip, in the next week. Alright, so today is Sunday, which means it's been, I'm going to brace this down on Tuesday, so about five days later, um, I'm coming to give you guys an update because I'm doing a lot better. It took that that much time. Like I'm just now starting to eat regular foods. Um, still can't really eat hard foods too much. I tried eating some granola uh, at work. It was too hard, so I stopped eating it. Um, but for the most part, I can eat regular foods again, y'all. I had to wait a while before I can actually talk because it was just, it was so painful 
that I was just like, you know what? I don't even care. I don't care if the gap closes right now or not. I don't care if I have to wait longer to get these braces off. I'm take. I was gonna take off the rubber bands, and I decided not to because I'm just like, nah, trust me. You came too far. You can do it. You can do it. But I got basically the rubber bands. It goes from the second molar up here down to the front, right there. And then I got a triangle one right there. So when I first got them done, like I could open my mouth more now and talk better now. When I first got them done, I couldn't open my mouth that much. I couldn't really talk. It was just that bad. Um, I actually go back in like two and a half weeks, three weeks, um, to see if this gap closed. This has to stay right there because I'm getting a crown right there. This is what needs to close and it's not even it's not even that big of a gap for real yeah it's not really that big of a gap but I only got one pack of rubber bands this time it's the same size on both sides and this is what it looks like he usually draws how I'm supposed to um put them on so I don't forget Usually after the first day, I kind of already memorized where I'm supposed to put them. Um, so I don't really have to pay attention to it. But I'm supposed to be wearing them um, every day. And so I go back to my next appointment all day. The only time I can take them off is when I'm going to eat or brush my teeth. And then I have to put them back on. Um, and I think, I believe that's it. So... That's some update on that. Um, my hair actually is looking kind of dry. I, um, well, I said that was an accident. I, this past week, I did not moisturize it or spray it or really do anything to it. I got kind of lazy. I was wearing it and I forgot how did I wear it. I wore it in pigtails one day. I wore it in a bun another day. These are the work days I'm talking about. I wore it in a bun another day. I think on my last day of work, I wore, I just wore it down. But that fan, they have these giant fans that we stand in front of um, that are at every station. And then they have like the stations at the front that have the little fans. The stations where you're moving around more, they have like these gigantic fans that are literally, literally like, my hand is not even in the frame. They're huge. And they're on high and they just constantly blow on you. So that's what causes my hair to dry out. So I'm probably going to do a, um, a conditioning treatment tonight so they can be moisturized. I don't know why, you guys, this sounds really crazy. I was thinking about getting a bucket, not like a bucket bucket, but like a bowl or something like this, like what I put my oil in, filling with oil, and then literally dipping my locks in it, like the ends of, the, of it or just even my whole life in it and just soaking the oil. I don't know what that would do or if that would do anything, but I'm actually very just curious to see what would happen. But um, I think I might do that next week because today's already Sunday and I'm about to do the conditioning treatment. So I don't really want to do that because um, I'm going to be experimenting something else too with my hair. I'll tell you guys a little bit later. It depends on if I succeed. Um, so I think I might try that next week and see what happens. It's just, just out of curiosity, but I mean, it don't look too bad. It's just really dry. So, um, and my curls are looking kind of raggedy. So, I don't know if y'all can see y'all, and my hair is actually a little bit lighter here. Maybe y'all can see it, it kind of matches my in person it matches my sweatshirt on camera it's probably not even that light but um yeah so i want to give y'all a day with that update with my hair and i probably just see y'all in the next clip which will probably be tomorrow because um i'm not this conditioning thing, I'm gonna actually leave it in my hair overnight. So there's nothing to come back and show you guys. So I'll probably just take it down tomorrow and record again then show you guys what, what it did for my hair. And I usually do this, I do it a lot actually. It's not 
like a one-time thing or once a month thing I probably do this conditioning like two three times a week when I'm not lazy this like I said this past week I didn't do anything I got kind of lazy and I wasn't really feeling that great um, but normally when I'm off I try to do it multiple times just because my hair gets super dry being under those fans and y'all already know I just retwisted my hair and look at this mess look at this mess no it's not too bad um I don't know if y'all can see. I might be able to see the color better too. But um, it's not too bad, but I'm just like, man. And I know somebody's probably like, well, maybe it's just your retwist coming undone. You know, you always got one person who, you know, may think I'm positional. But uh, I actually thought about that too. Was it my retwist coming undone? But the thing about it is, I always can see where I retwisted my hair like where I left it. Um, because of the way I retwist, I don't just twist it. I kind of like flat twist it into a twist. So I can always see that dent, that mark of where I did it. So that's how I know that my hair is actually growing and it's not just a retwist. Like I, you, you guys might be able to see here how like I flat twist it and then retwist it. So like as it grows, I can see that groove, that dent right there. I know that's new growth that's starting to come in already and not just, I don't know if y'all could have saw that. It's probably too high. And I just, um, my roots was coming undone. Ooh, we my gray hair. It turns all types of colors. Sometimes in the summer, it's blonde. Look at this, y'all. Can y'all see that? All right. Anyways, I'm just gonna, um, do my conditioning treatment and I might show y'all a clip of that like just real quick of um, me putting in putting stuff on my head and just leaving it in and then the next clip will be of me taking it out so let me show y'all that and then I'll see y'all in the next next clip will which will be like technically tomorrow but in video time it's just a slide away so yeah Cheese and cheese and biscuits. These cheddar biscuits, you guys, were so good. Mm, 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 mm. I also got the rice and peas in the plantain. And this was an avocado um, taco, but I didn't like it. I ended up switching out that taco and getting this fish taco, which was really, really good. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.